Hello, my little yarnivores and spiderettes. Happy holidays. Very exciting because we have more happy mail. We've got tons of happy mail. Thank you so very much. I, oh, I'm, I'm gobsmacked. As always, I am gobsmacked and I thank you so very much. We've got packages. We've got multiple packages. We've got packages. And this one I bought myself, so it's not quite Happy Mail, but it's kind of Happy Mail because I'm happy that I got it. So it's kind of Happy Mail. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's let's start with the cards, right? No. Um, oh, this is this is like a second Christmas for me. I mean, I do celebrate Christmas, but um, oh, this is so much fun. I'm excited. All right. So we've got uh, Christine from Australia. Oh, I, I love the fact that it's not just the U.S. It's all over the place. This one, how am I supposed to get into this one? My goodness. You know, I got my little trusty scissors here. Sometimes I call them skizzers. There we go. We're, we got this. There we go. Aha. By the way, I hope that all of you had a really great holiday for those of you that celebrate. If not, I just hope you're having a great day. <laughs> and okay, here we go. Oh, he's adorable. Look at this. Look at that. It's just so cute. Merry Christmas, little Santa with his beach togs. It's so cute. Little koala. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from Christine. Thank you. And I can't read. Oh, AKA two Arctic wolves. I guess that's your handle. Well, thank you very much. Okay. Uh, glitter. Ah, glitter. Okay. And let's see. This one is from Iris from Puerto Rico. Ooh. Thank you, Iris. Okay. Let's see what's in here. It's so exciting. I love getting cards and, and letters and, and whatnot. Oh, I love it. Oh, this is nice. This beautiful season helps the whole world pause, renew, and hope. Isn't that pretty? It's nice and understated. I like that too. Oh, wow. Okay, it says, I am from Puerto Rico, but I decided to write you. I want to tell you that even if my first language is Spanish, I understand all of your explanation uh, you give. Uh, I've learned a lot. Great crochet, uh, great crochet your teaching. Okay. Um, warm wishes and happy holidays to you from Iris. Thank you very much. Actually, I did take Spanish in school. I was not very good at it. Trust me. <laughs> I was not very good. Um, Okay, so we, next one's uh, Cindy from Alabama. Thank you. And yeah, I took a number of years of Spanish. Um, and then I swapped over to Italian because for an English major, a degree in English, you need to take a second language. That makes a lot of sense. Um, but okay, so I swapped over to Italian thinking, you know, it would be great to expand my horizons. Well, they're both the romance languages. So I was getting all confused with Spanish and Italian and I kept reverting back to Spanish. So I'm like, you know what? After the second semester of Italian, I'm like, I'm going back to Spanish and I'm just going to fill my requirement that way. Oh, this is, this is so cute. This is cute. Mm, thank you. Wishing you a Christmas filled with warmth and good cheer. Thank you for all you do for us all. Merry Christmas. Love, Cindy. And, oh, YouTube channel, Cindy Hearts Crochet. Oh, well, check it out, everybody. Thank you. It's so cute. Okay, and then we have from L.A. Looks like L.A. Hmm. Now that's, is that Louisiana or is that L-O? I think I told you my, my geography is subpar. I'm sorry, but yeah, it's from D. Well, maybe, maybe the name is in here. Eh. Eh. Let's see. Is the name in here? Jennifer. Okay. Now that focus, focus. 
that is really pretty. I love fleur de lis, by the way. Love them. Ooh, white chocolate bread pudding recipe and hot buttered rum sauce. Ooh. Oh, it's the St. Louis Cathedral Christmas fleur de lis. Ooh, very pretty. I love fleur de lis. Let's see. Craig and family celebrate the wonder of God's unending love. Have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Jennifer, thank you. Yeah, and it, on the inside it says, see the back. Yes, I'm glad that I saw the back because that's pretty cool. Got some recipes. I don't cook, but it's worth checking out, isn't it? Yeah, I, actually at one point I thought about getting a Fleur de Lis tattoo, but nope, wasn't meant to be. Um, I have a Celtic knot tattoo. And I'm thinking about getting more. I am, but I don't know, you know. Um, now, I don't know if any of you are familiar with, it's a kind of tattoo where it looks like your skin is ripped away and underneath you can see like tendons and veins and sinews and whatnot. Um, or you can see like, you know, mechanical cog works. I was thinking, I was thinking in my brainstorming that it would be cool um, to get a tattoo where it looks like my skin is ripped away, but underneath it's all knitted. Like I'm like a sock monkey or something underneath. <laughs> I don't know. I just think it would be kind of cool. Yeah. You know? Um, so this is from, it looks like Natalie from Florida. This, this envelope is heavy duty. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, this is, this is lovely. Look, look at that sheen. Oh, pretty. Let's see. May peace and happiness be yours this Christmas and throughout the new year. Wishing you a very Merry Christmas and a happy, healthy, and prosperous new year. Yarny hugs from Natalie with Natalie's Closet. Thank you, Natalie. Thank you. The heavy duty. Like, really heavy duty. The, this, 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 you could build a house with this stuff. This cardstock. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, so we got a couple more. Okay, and then we got, let's see, from Mary Jo. Mary Jo. And Mary Jo's from Texas. So let's see. Is this a letter? What is this? Oh, little, little sad looking pooch. Little cute pooch. Oh, the sender of this card is a supporter of Guiding Eyes for the Blind, one of the nation's foremost guide dog schools. That's nice. Very cool. Oh, thank you. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? That is gorgeous. It's all embossed. I mean, the, the backside is flat, but look. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Oh, all right. And the card says, wishing you a Merry Christmas touched with wonder and filled with love. Merry Christmas from Mary Jo. Thank you, Mary Jo. Thank you. This is really, really pretty. Now, the question is, did you make this? You know, because if you did, good job. This is really pretty. If you didn't, that's okay. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. Very sweet. All of you guys are so, so sweet. And whether you, you know, send cards or write comments and just show your support that way, hey, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so this is from T from California. Let's see if there's a name in here. Looks like Terry. So the card says, peace and love. Little Cardinals. Gotta love the Cardinals. So this says, Craig, thank you for sharing your talent and teaching with the rest of us. I hope 2019 is kind to you and that 2020 is amazing and mag.cal not sure in all good and wonderful ways not sure what that says wishes sent for a christmas season sealed with love and warmth that lasts throughout the new year merry christmas Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so we've got a couple more, and then we've got the packages, too. Ooh. 
All right, so I've got two more, and then we've got some packages. Oh, actually, this, this, is, this is a package. This, this is a package. Yeah. So this is from Katie uh, in California. This, this is just, it always excites me. Oh, this looks like Fair Isle Knitting. How very pretty. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Yeah, it looks like Fair Isle. I love Fair Isle Knitting. I really do. It's a lot of fun. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, it's a pattern for a triad wrap. Ooh, that's very pretty. I won't be able to do this on my channel because more than likely it is copyrighted. It's from Crochet World magazine. It's very pretty. Actually, isn't that pretty? Yeah, very pretty. I might do that for my, my scarf challenge, you know, my, my 2020 scarf challenge. That's very pretty. I like that. Thank you. Now, let's see what the card says. Okay, so this is from Katie. I thought I'd send this pattern to you in hopes you might want to teach us how to make this beautiful wrap. I absolutely love your channel and your tutorials. Yours is by far the best. Thank you. Thank you for everything you do. You are awesome. Well, you guys are awesome. Without you guys, I couldn't do this channel. Don't forget that. So, dearest Fiber Spider, wishing you wintertime wonders and magical moments to fill your holiday with joy. With much, much love and appreciation, Katie. Well, thank you. And I appreciate you guys, too. Thank you. Because, like I've said, without you guys, I would not be able to do this channel. Because with your support and hitting that like button and sharing with your friends and, you know, doing what you guys do, you make this possible. And I thank you guys. I really do. Um, also, if it keeps looking like I'm I'm looking in one direction, it's because I have my my phone flipped from how I usually have it. <laughs> so it I am I am talking to you guys. I am. See, my camera is is over on this side, but I usually look on this side. So don't mind me. It's it's semantics. Now, I think there are maybe stitch markers in here. Now this is from. It looks like. Kara or Kaya, I'm not sure, but it's from Texas. Texas, you guys. Oh, <laughs> it says no peeking, no peeking. By the way, um, this, by the way, my mom made this for me. Look, it says fiber spider. I got my very own personal swag. <laughs> this is one of my Christmas presents. Yes, my mom embroidered this for me on her embroidery machine. And no, this, this is not, I'm not going to be selling these on my Etsy store. No, please don't ask because it's not going to happen because I was already told that no, it won't be happening because this apparently was not easy to make, but she made it for me and I love it. And I wore it to work today and my coworkers are like, Ooh, that's so pretty. I love it. I was afraid that people are going to be like, it's not Halloween, but they, they know about me and my channel. So all right, what, 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 what's this? I can't get it open. I'm trying to get it open. There we go. What is this? What is, what is in here? First, let's read the card. Jingle all the way. Okay, let's see. Wishing you a fun and festive holiday season. Kara from Texas. So I love your channel. Your tutorials are wonderful. And the readings soothing. I have made seven of the granny wraparound shawls as gifts, including one for myself. Spoil yourself. Why not? Go for it. Wishing you all the best, Kara. The the pink Giamingo? Or is that supposed to... Let's see. Uh, no channel, just my grandbabies and flamingos. It looks like Giamingo. It looks like G-I-A-M-I-N-G-O. The pink Giamingo. That's what it looks like. I could be mistaken. Now, there. what is in here? Ooh, what, is, what is this? Ooh. Oh, how cute. It is a little stitch marker. We've got... We've got Texas, and we got a little boot. And a little bead. Looks... Sort of like a sugar skull, but not quite. But that, 
That's really cute. Let's see. Well, Texas. Focus. Focus. There we go. Focus. Texas. Yeah. That's really cool. I see Austin and Fort Worth and San Antonio. And right in the middle is the Alamo. Very cool. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I love little goodies. <laughs> All right. Now we also have some packages. Yes, we do. Now, the first package I bought myself because, well, you know me. Did I need it? No, but I bought it um, because I wanted to do some more spinning. Yes, I have been spinning more lately. Now, this is from The Woolery, but I just wanted to show you guys real quick. And the Woolery, they sell a whole bunch of things. And one of the things they sell is wool for spinning. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Now, this is Malabrigo. And it is Noob. And the colorway is called glitter. There isn't any glitter in here, but the colorway is called glitter. And you can spin this into yarn. And oh, wait, wait. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> oh, now basically, what you do is you take it out of the, the wrapper and then you untwist the braid and then you draft it you pull it apart and so forth and then eventually you spin with it and i do have a spinning wheel but i don't use it because for me it is a pain uh, i like using a drop spindle and eventually emphasis on eventually i would love to do a tutorial series on how to spin yarn from roving to actual yarn that's the idea will i actually get to it at some point I would like to, but um, we'll see what happens, you know. Um, my personal preference, quite frankly, and I bought two of these, and if any of you do spin and are interested, um, this is really nice stuff, and it is, I believe, $15 per hank. Let me see, is it on here? Yeah, it's $15 per hank, um, and... Yes, it's Malabrigo Noob Merino Roving, and it is four ounces for $15 each. And then, of course, you have taxes and so forth, but I really dig it. Um, so far, what I've been using mostly from the Woolery is um, it's called Heinz 57, and it's very easy to work with. It's really inexpensive. I want to say it's $15 for a pound which is, whoa, um, it is sort of a creamy off-white. I love working with it. It's very easy to work with. So that being said, just wanted to show you guys what I got, you know, you know, this is, this is happy me mail. You know, this, this is, you know, me, me sending it to me because I wanted it. So there you go. <laughs> All right. And now we've got three more. My goodness. All right. Let's get to them, shall we? All right, so I've got a few more. Now, this one is from Alice and Denise in New Jersey. Now, this one, very big and squishy. I already cut these open so that it'd be easier. So let's see what we got. Oh, got to do the card first, of course. So let's do the card first. People like you add little touches of color and warmth to life. I love sentiments like that. I really do. That's very pretty. And it's a little window. Let's see. Woo! <laughs> Two fiber spider. Just thinking about your kindness brings a smile. Thank you. So, wow, there's a lot on here. Um, just a little note and surprise to say thank you for your crochet, knitting, and narration. I enjoy your channel so much, and you have taught me so many techniques. I also love coffee and Bob Ross. Your energy is wonderful, and I am so glad to have found your channel. It, it's 
<laughs> it's going across both sides of the gap about the hole. Um, I hope you enjoy the yarn. Oh, I'm getting yarn. Uh, I'm sure you know how the stash can get wild. Yes, I know. Just a little token of my appreciation. Your narrations are so relaxing and I enjoy listening to them while I crochet. Keep on doing what you're doing. You are bright light in this sometimes dark world. Thank you. I hope you have a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. Stay stitching. Love, Denise, a.k.a. Alice Fairy. Oh, thank you. Now let's see what's inside. Ooh, oh, there, there's a lot in here. Let's see, Scrubby. I have not tried this yet. This is called Scrubby. It, it's very tactile. Now this is, colorway is called Almond. And it is 78 yards, and it's great for dishcloths. And it's three ounces, 78 yards. It is made in Turkey, a uh, weight of four, hook size I or needle uh, eight. And it is polyester, 100% polyester. I've never worked with this before, but perhaps I shall. I always, I always like trying new things, so thank you. Now, also, in here, we've got three skeins. My goodness. Oh, I feel spoiled. Now, we have, let's see, one of these, it's Premier Yarns Everyday Anti-Pilling. Very pretty colorway. I love earth tones. It's like stony. I love it. This one, the colorway is beach. Makes sense. So this is a medium weight of four, 180 yards, 3.5 ounces, 100% anti-pilling acrylic. Very nice. I like. I like a lot. <laughs> Thank you. And then we've got Impeccable. I have used this before, and I love the colorway. It does go very much with this colorway. Very similar. I like. Now this one, uh, the Impeccable... This is 100, 192 yards, 3.5 ounces. It is 100% acrylic, I'm quite, quite sure. Yes, and it is called Stillness. Ah. Ah. <laughs> and then we have some more Premier Every Day. This is so soft. Oh, mm, 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 mm. so lovely. And this is a medium weight of four, 100% acrylic of anti-pilling acrylic, 180 yards, 3.5 ounces. And this is blue heather. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Thank you so much. Love it, love it, love it. And I'm just going to keep this to the side for now. Now I've got another envelope over here. This is from Lanai from Florida. Let's see what's in here. <gasps> Ooh, oh, let's do the card first though. What? Gotta do the card first. Warm wishes and Merry Christmas. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, this is nice. Happy Festivus. That's neat. I like that. Got unity going on. I like that. All right, what's it say? Wow. I'm transforming disappointments into acceptance. I like. Uh, let's see. Merry Christmas, Fiber Spider. If you don't know, Festivus... If you don't know Festivus, Google Seinfeld. Okay. I learned so much from you and your wonderful tutorials. You once said your horoscope is on the cusp. Let me let me tell you, you are a true Pisces like me. So much so we could be besties. So embrace the crazy fish. Okay. Enjoy the sock. I hope Santa brings treats on Christmas Eve to put in it. 
Uh, I hope you have a wonderful new year 2020. And in the true spirit of Festivus, I hope your grievances be few. Lanai. And it says toe beans in chat. <laughs> Festivus. I'm going to have to look that up. Now, let's see in here. Oh, my. Ooh. Wow. This is so cool. Oh, let me right side. Little holly leaves. Look at this. It's all sparkly. Look at that. That's so cool. Thank you. And it's got a little, little hangy do. A little hangy do. <laughs> This is really nice. Thank you. Actually, I do have a stocking that my mom made for me long, long time ago. Yeah, long, long time ago um, that she did counted cross stitch on it. And it's really intricate and nice. But this, thank you. Mm, thank you very much. Good job. This is really nice. Good job. I like it a lot. It's edged very nicely. This is very pretty. Now, let's see. About how 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 many Amazon gift cards do you think you could fit in here? <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored, not affiliated. But oh, I, I do love Amazon. I do. This is really cool. Thank you so, so much. And I'm going to have to look up Festivus, definitely. All right, so we've got one more box, and I saved it for last. And, you know, let's see what's inside. All right, so last but not least, this is from Knit and Yarn UK. Yes, they sent me a package once before, and they're like, can we send you another package? And I said, yes, of course you can. Thank you. And so this one I haven't even cut open yet, but... Um, I really loved the last one that they sent me, and they're sending me another one. Now, I have no idea what is in here or if it's if it's what. I, I have no, no clue, but I'm excited. And now it's funny because in the last video that I did, I, I gave sort of like a playful... A playful kind of jab saying, well, it's a, a mystery box. It's not in a box. It's in a bag. Well, this, it's a box. <laughs> so apparently they decided to go with boxes. And that I think is kind of cool because, I don't know, there's, there's something, I don't know, really fun about boxes. Oh, this is from Sheep G's. Uh, inspiration in every ball of yarn. Sheep cheese. Hashtag not sponsored, not affiliated. They asked me if, if they could send me one. I said yes. So let's see what's inside. Ooh. 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 Okay, now I see a card in here. Yes, let's let's do the card first. Let's do the card. If I can get it open. And then I'll show you the yarn. Because yes, yeah, there is yarn in here. You know, but I want to do first things first. Yes, first things first. I always like to do the card first. Whether it's happy mail or in person. Let's see. Just to say. Just to say. Just a little thank you from us at Knit and Yarn for reviewing our subscription bag. Enjoy. Love, Shelly and Shannon. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Very, very much. So we've got, looks like some patterns in here, and then we've got the yarn. Okay, first one. This is called Whirlette by Sheep Jeez. I, again, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I, I don't know. I'm sorry, but eh. So this is Whirlette. This is really some fine stuff. It's 60% cotton, 40% acrylic. It, it's got the cheek test. It, it passed the cheek test. All right, so yes, it is 60% cotton, 40% acrylic. It is... 
100 grams, 455 meters, lovely color, sort of like a denim blue. Um, and the color is called Luscious. Mm. Now, let's see. And there's no more information other than that, but it is, it is nice. I like it. I like it. Yes. I like to pet the yarn and fluffy bunnies. <laughs> okay, George. All right. And the other one. Oh, this is some lovely stuff. Check this out. Oh my goshness. I love cakes with a really interesting colorway change. And this, this one got it. Mm. So this is called Sheep G's Whirl. Yes. Now this is 215 to 225 grams. It is 1,000 meters. My goodness. But then it says 100 grams. Oh, 100 grams is 455 meters. Okay. It is, again, 60% acrylic. Sorry, 60% cotton, 40% acrylic. Excuse me. Um, and this colorway is Rhubarb Bumble. Now, check it out. They have all the different... Focus. Focus. Want to focus? There we go. It has all the different colorways on there, and it's just a little check mark next to the one that it is. That's cool. Um, so you can see all the different colorways that they carry. This is really, really pretty. Ooh, wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right. And then we've got some patterns. Yes. All right. So we have two. We have a, looks like a knitting one and a crocheting one. Okay. So this one is called Read Between the Lines Shawl um, by Tammy Canavan Soldat. Isn't that elegant? That is really pretty. And then we've got the pictures on the back. Kind of hard to see on camera, but that is really, really pretty. Very, very pretty. And no, I'm not going to show, I'm not going to show the pattern, no, but got full instructions. Ah, it looks like one of those asymmetric kind of shawls, and that's always cool. Now, as far as the world, look at all the colors. Oh my, oh my gosh, oh. <laughs> There's a lot in here to choose from. And then more of, more of the pattern. Very cool. And then the crochet one. This one, well, first one, this one was read between the lines. And this one is crochet between the lines. And that's this one. That one visually, ooh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. And then check out the back. I like that. You know, it has a very interesting sort of optical effect about it. And then on the inside, yes, we've got Whirl again. We've got all those pretty colors. Very, very, very cool. My goodness. I feel spoiled. Thank you. So to Shelly and Shannon, thank you from, oh, from the bottom of my little heart, from Knit and Yarn UK. Thank you so much. These are going to get put to good use. Thank you. And thank you to everybody, really. You know, I mean, whether you send something or not, I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys just coming in and, and checking in and watching my channel and, and saying hello in the comments. And I really appreciate it. I do. And thank you to all of you. And I hope that all of you had a really great holiday, um, whether or not you celebrate. I mean, New Year's is coming up. Yes. And of course, I want everybody's new year to be happy and prosperous and healthy and, you know, full of good stuff. And I got my, my calendar all ready to go, my Bob Ross calendar. And it says, let your imagination be your guide. There are absolutely no limits here. Well, that, that's, that's a good thing to think, you know, and to follow, you know, let there be no limits on your imagination on what you can do. You, you can do anything. Sure, you can. You know, just, just remember, breathe. Breathing is good. 
you know, if you're trying something new, breathe. Breathing helps. <laughs> and be patient with yourselves. I always try to emphasize, yes, try new things, do new things, but be patient with yourself. They don't necessarily just happen. You know, you got to work on them. You got to put in the effort, you know, and then you get some great results. And it's all good. And this is all good. My goodness, I the, the cards and the packages, and I thank you so very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. And, you know, leave those comments, like, subscribe, you know, all that fun stuff. And, you know, you don't even have to do any of this. You don't, you don't have to. I appreciate it, but you don't have to. But, you know, just watching the videos, if you just watch the videos and if you let the little ad play through and you don't hit that little skip button, if you don't hit the skip button, that really helps me big time that helps me. And it enables me to keep doing what I do. And I want to keep doing what I do because I love it. And I, I love you guys. And I thank you guys. So enough of my yammering and blabbering and so forth. Um, thank you. Eee, thank you. So listen, until next time, I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, and above all, stay stitching. Thank you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.